So angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if we know two of the values, we can use this, you know, bit of knowledge to basically work out the missing angle. So we know X is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus the value of the two other angles. So minus 60 minus 60. And that's because, you know, all three angles add up to 180. So if we just subtract the value of the two other angles, we can basically work out what X is. Next line is x is equal to 180 minus 120 just adding those two other angles together and then x is going to be equal to 60 degrees so it's obviously quite a simple triangle that one but yeah you can really apply it to any triangle question number two what's the value of y so same principle y is going to be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 45 degrees now the 90 degrees is because see that little square there what's well, meant to be a square and that basically means 90 degrees it's a right angle so if you see that you know it's going to be 90 degrees the other one is labeled as 45 degrees all we have to do is 180 minus 90 degrees minus 45 that simplified is 180 minus 135 degrees and that's going to leave us as y is equal to 45 degrees now you can use that principle on any triangle uh, if you do have any questions leave them below or i can try and make a video about it or if you have an, a relevant question that you want me to make a video for anyway i hope it helped hope it was clear and thank you for watching the video yeah best of luck